Hey guys, so I thought I'd do a summer must haves video. Um, not requested at all, it's just what I fancy doing basically. Um, so it's going to be skincare, makeup, and hair products. So three things, and it's quite a lot, so I'll just get started. Um, so the first one, well, like two, um, is fake tan. And there's quite a few that I like, to, well, there's two that I love using. Well, three, but one, I haven't got one because mine ran out. Uh, so, um, not that. Is that one? Nope. It's a palette, it's empty. Right. So, um, my two fake tams at the moment, they're high end ones. Um, but. It's just what I have. And it's the Saint Tropez Self Tan Bronzing Lotion, which I'm loving. Um, it does smell very fake tanny, but it's a good one. I got it for Christmas, so that's why I use it. I won't go out and buy Saint Tropez myself. Um, but I've got it on my arms, and it actually came out really well, apart from like. There, which is a bit patchy, but which is more. Um, and I use a mitt, like the big mitts, for a fake tan, but they all, it always comes out quite even. I just got better. And then my other one is Pitts Boon, did I say? No, Pitts Boon Self Tanning Lotion and Color Dial for all skin tones. And it looks like this. It's a really cool one, actually. It's got two different sides, like that's the darker one, this side's the darker one, and this side's the lighter one. Um, and it has like a dial at the top of the colours, like that's the darkest one, and then you sort of go further along and get lighter. So it's good for building up your tan over summer. It's just a really good fake tan. But I've already used them as the darker side, so I go darker on my legs, lighter up. So say so I put two coats on my legs, one coat, no, say three coats on my legs, because I have really pale legs, plus I like them dark. So three coats on my legs of, say, that one on this, so it builds up to that colour. Then one coat of that on my arms and the rest of my body, and then one coat of the middle one on um, my face. I don't use a specific face tan, I just think that's a waste of money. And the only reason I use fake tan is because I would never go on a sun bed and I also don't tan naturally. So I don't see the point. And to, for tan optimizers, um, these all came in a set together so I'm not just being like, ooh, look at this. But um, it's the Saint Tropez Tan Optimizer Body Polish. All of these I've got for Christmas, so I've had them a while, but I just like using them. And it's basically just a really good exfoliator. And then the body moisturizer as well, which actually is a really nice moisturizer. It doesn't really smell of anything either, which is nice. And the um, it's very later. It's really smart, I don't really either. They're both really nice. So yeah, they're my fake tans of choice and simmers, which is the one I normally use. So that's that took a while. It's gonna be quite a long video. And then the other two things, also body care. Um sheer body scrub from the body shop is a really good exfoliator. And then the sheer body butter as well. As you can tell, I've used quite a lot of this already. It smells really good. It smells of um, sun cream. Oh, it smells of also, sun cream is a must have, obviously. Like, if you're really nice weather at the moment, and I haven't actually had any sun cream, I haven't been burnt because I haven't really been outside in the cool week. So, yeah. Whatever. And then another skincare is. Um, this is my must have freebie for my mum's stuff. My mum's stuff that I got in there. 
and it's the multi active day early wrinkle correction cream. I need just a face cream, so I've got this free from Clarence. It's actually full size. Well, good. And then my two, wait, yeah, three must haves from Anatomicals. Um, that's when I fell for the loser of the hair pack. It was a hair mask. So good because when it's sunny, your hair gets dry, and you need to use deep conditioner, which is what this is, once a week. And then uh, farewell to the Scarlet Pimple Hell Mud Mask. Skin gets dry over summer because it just does because of the sun. So definitely recommend doing a mud mask, say once every two weeks, maybe once every ten days or something. And then I just carry this in my bag because it's a little one, it's like 80 mil. And it's just a moisturizer because, well, I need a moisturizer full time. And it's the Bye Bye Miss America Dry from Anton Girls too. So yeah, um, is that all the stuff? Yeah. And hair products. That was one. And then there's the Batiste dry shampoo. This is just the original one. I live on dry shampoo over summer. Especially like if you're in the UK or anywhere really and going to festivals, dry shampoo is a must. And I'm going to a festival, but it's not really like a campy festival. It's like a urban festival. It's called Evolution. If you, I'm not sure. No, it's in, never mind. But um, yeah, dry shampoo is a must. And hairspray. This is just Sainsbury's hairspray with extra firm hold. Own brand. It's perfectly fine. And then makeup. This is definitely a take longer than I thought. Right. So lip products. Anatomicals again. It's the Snobby Senses lip balm. Absolutely love it. Comes out as quite gloss. But it tingles, so I like it. Yeah. See it's quite glossy. Lip balm. And then uh, lip snapper curl curl lip balm. I got this for smell. Like, yeah, it's the only reason I got it. It's all light. But I got it for the smell. This is a good one because I like my lips to smell nice. And it's taste nice. And then I got some really weird. Obviously bronzers. If you don't fake tan, bronzers. And I'll find my other one. Got a range of colours. This came with the central face there. And it's just a bronzer. And it's very dark. It's a good contour colour actually. It's quite I've got only a bit in it. But when you blend it on it's kind of yeah. And then Mac bronze and powder in golden, it's empty. I'm just showing you the packaging. This is for my back to Mac. See it's empty. Uh so yeah, that's, I'm keeping that for back to Mac, but I just thought I'd show you it. Let me get one of them. And then my bronzer at the moment. Because the Sancho Pay one's too dark, and obviously there's none of the matte one there. This is Rimmel Natural Bronzer in 025 Sun Glow. There. It just looks like it's one of the ones with the sun on. It's a really nice bronzer. It's a good, gives a nice natural glow. And then for blush, I think I'm going to get one. It's Coralie Stiff and Benefit. Had this quite quite a long time. It's really nice. Uh, uh, it's really in the back. But it's a really pretty colour. Hope I don't hit I don't finish it completely over some. This is basically a really shimmery coral lash. 
which is really pretty with the tan. Also because it's shimmery, it's even prettier. And then a highlight, my love for this highlight is so ridiculous. And it is Gil Meets Pale from Benefit. Um, it's basically high beam, but it's more glowy. It's, well, it's a liquid highlight, but it's a more of a gold. You can't see it. It's more of a gold highlight, whereas high beam is more of a pink highlight. It's, oh, it's such a gorgeous highlight of that. It, it, it's so pretty with the tan. Like, I cannot express how pretty it is with the tan. Uh, two mascaras. One is the Collection 2000 Big Fake Ball Slash Effect Mascara. Pretty much dried out, but I love it. Like, you can always dip it in and take the brush out. There. See, I love that brush. And you just dip it into another mascara. Like, pops thing. And then, my absolute favourite mascara of all time, I think. I haven't tried them all yet, so that's what I'm saying, I think. It's Max Factor's False Lash Effect Mascara. Oh my god, it is. Oh, oh my god, it's amazing. It looks like that. It looks a lot like the CoverGirl Lash Blast wand, apparently. But it's really nice, and it makes my eyelash look like. Anything else No. Right, and then lips is Costa Chic. Everyone's raving about this. I got it like last summer, I believe. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it was last summer. And yeah, and it's just a really pretty orange coral colour. Probably going to run out of this over summer. Everyone probably knows what this looks like right there. I got this on back to Mac because I thought, oh, I need white lip colour, so I'll be a fur and coral. Don't know what I was thinking at the time, but I do not regret it. And it's a frost pinch as well. It looks really pretty on. I believe that is it. Oh no, perfume. B spot from Benefit. Mm, so nice. Wait. Yeah, it's all nice. Or Beyonce Heat, either or depends on my mood really. And nails definitely little girl type from MAC, which is limited edition with their quite cute collection. Okay, got to try and get this all in one minute. Okay, first thing I have a new blog. Woo! Just started today. It's called Slight Addiction. I'll put a link to it in the bottom bar. And then big shout out to um Ms. Michaela Sue, who I absolutely love her videos. Like she's so sweet. She's also 16, so yeah, if you're watching this, Michaela, I said give me a shout out. Um yeah, she's lovely. Please go check out her channel, I'll link it in the bottom bar. Oh my god, I managed to put that into the 40 seconds. Woo! See you in the next video. Bye.